What are financial instruments? They can be any financial documents that turn into money when sold. For example, stocks, bonds, and futures. Amongst these instruments, we can single out a category that contains some kind of obligation. Buy, sell, deliver, and they are called derivatives. Derivatives include forward and futures contracts, which we'll talk about now, as well as options and a dozen others. What are forward and futures for? To understand why mankind needed derivatives, imagine yourself as the owner of a date garden or a merchant of the time of King Hammurabi, or the owner of an olive garden or the owner of an olive press in ancient Greece, or imagine yourself as a crop farmer or a cattle farmer in the 19th century United States. What do all of these people have in common? Fears that the price of an important commodity for them will change in the future. The seller is thinking, what if the price goes down and I don't even recover my costs? While the buyer worries, what if the price goes up and I pay too much? And so they make a deal. The seller guarantees that he will sell the product, which has not yet been produced or grown, on a certain date at a certain price. For example, October 5th for 100 coins. He is satisfied with the date and price, and it is guaranteed to repay costs and ensure a profit. If dates or wheat go down in price, the producer won't be afraid of the drop in price. The buyer, on the other hand, thinks this way. The price of 100 coins is good for me too. If the price goes up, I have nothing to fear. Such a contract is called a forward contract. It is not yet a futures contract because no exchange is involved in trading, but it is already the forerunner. The contract is for an obligation, which means that the derivative principle is already present. This is how people came to insure their risks. We will tell you about when the first forward contract appeared and who was their author in the following video.